Hello everybody and welcome back to Magna Carta 2. In the last video we made it to Dunan Field, our new area that we're going to be spending a little bit of time in. We started doing some of the many 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 side quests in the area. And I left off on a bit of a cliffhanger. We're currently at the Thieves Hideout. And we're going to be confronting their boss because the thieves have been stealing from people and causing all sorts of havoc for the war refugees in the area, so we need to put a stop to that. Now, an important thing to remember is that you can come here without accepting the quest from the boss's son to take care of the boss, but he won't actually be here. So if you're having troubles getting this guy to appear, it's most likely because you haven't accepted the side quest for it. Well, well. I see we have a familiar visitor. Your Albedo, is that you? Ha! Argo, chief of the Blue Moon Trewa. No, I suppose you're just a simple coward now. Albedo, why are you doing this? I can't believe you are Sheaf's leader. Well, now that you know, I can't let you leave alive. If you recognize your past sins, pay for them in the afterlife. I mustn't die here. I am sorry, Albedon. <laughs> You place a high value on your own life. Big talk for someone who stood by and watched his whole tribe die. <coughs> Take your weapon, Argo. I'll give you a fitting end as a traitor. First Rutan, now you. Why? Why does it have to be this way? Man, I feel really sorry for Argo. No Trewa in the entire universe likes him, and he's such a nice guy, but we are going to get a little bit of backstory on Argo's whole Blue Moon Trewa tribe rivalry thing relatively soon, so that'll be interesting. Anyways, Alpado is much like the last Trewa we fought. Rutan. Um, he has a axe, and he's a heavy hitter. He has very similar attacks and attack patterns like Argo, because again, he's a Trewa. Not too much to worry about, just chain attack. <laughs> I expected no less from the chief of the Blue Moon Trewa. I got an excellent view of your skill. I'm sorry, Albedo. I must keep moving. Argo, words alone never change anything. Don't make the same mistake. If you are repentant from the bottom of your heart, then prove it. What do you mean? At the edge of the Ruhalt Plateau, Survivors of the Blue Moon Trewa gathered together and built a settlement to build a new Blue Moon Trewa village. Is that true? There has been resistance from the Blackhorn Trewa, so it is still small in scale. But one day, one day soon, we will restore the Blue Moon Trewa village. I was invited to join, but since I earn my living as a thief, I thought I would be a burden to them, so I declined. But you would be different. You... you can help them. Albedo! Argo, you are still the chief of the Blue Moon Trewa. To you now. Help them. Go to them. Albedo, hold on. We'll restore the Trewa village together. Albedo! Albedo! Argo. Ah, oh, man. It really kills me when I see 
Argo getting so emotional because he's such a level-headed guy. He's probably one of my favorite characters in terms of character development, so I am pretty excited about getting to that Blue Moon Trewa settlement because we've heard an awful lot about it. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that for a little while yet. Dealing with that tribe is actually near the end of the game. So, we'll get to that at some point. Just keep it in the back of your mind. It is unfortunate that Argo has to kill all of the Trewa that he's ever known, that he's come across. It's my understanding that the Trewa aren't exactly a super common faction in this universe. I mean, there are some, but not a lot. Definitely not as many as humans. And they're always constantly feuding, and there's very few of them left, so it really is a shame. Anyways, after you've defeated the thief, it's up to you what you want to do. You can return and turn in the quest to the boss's son, but I'd rather wait and do that and turn in all of our quests at the same time. I'm going to continue onwards and go towards the ruins, because the boss had asked us to look for his assistant who was at the runes and hasn't returned yet, so we're going to need to do that. And this place is really cool, there's sort of like a big dragon or a big dinosaur bones over here, which is really neat. You might have also noticed these floating stones in and around the area. Remember the location of those stones because we are going to be doing something very important with those a little bit later. Unfortunately, we're not able to really do much with them right now, but we will be coming back to them, and they are spread out all throughout Dunan Field. There's really a lot to this area. We're going to be doing a lot of walking around, that's for sure. Now, after I get this blaze beast out of my way, there shouldn't be any more interruptions before we get to the ruins. It's a very short distance away. The Rainpool Ruins, the which is exactly as the name suggests, it's a complete ruin. I think that this place has probably been hit pretty heavily by the war. I imagine at one point it was a really neat, like, excavation site or, you know, something like that. Some sort of scientific research site, but right now it's completely broken. It's very desolate. In the midst of the runes, we can actually find the assistant with the check mark above his head. So if we speak to him, we'll be able to finish the quest for finding the assistant. And if we speak to him, he'll give us another quest as well. And he lost his diary and his pouch in the area. And he hasn't been able to find them, so we're going to have to look for them. And this is a pretty easy quest to do, because all you really have to look for are unusual items. The pouch is this big green looking thing that sticks out like a sore thumb, so you can go ahead and pick that up. And I do believe that the diary is over here somewhere. I'm going to clear the thieves out of the area so I have a bit of a better opportunity to look. Part of the strategy. The diary blends in a little bit more, it's a little bit more subtle, but luckily they've made these items blue and green. You know, you're, you're able to easily find them. There's a stun defense common in that chest, and here's the diary. So again, very easy. And we're going to return these to the helper immediately, so we can finish up that quest as well. But apparently, the diary isn't his. And it actually belongs to Bison, which is Celestine's father. Bison! That's Papa's name! That belonged to Bison the Silver? I guess this means that Celestine's father was here. No doubt about it. It's my papa, all right? At any rate, read it. It might contain some valuable clues. 
Great! According to the journal, it sounds like Papa lived here for a little while. It says that when Papa was here, this place wasn't in ruins. It's completely abandoned now, though. It says the Northern Forces started trouble here, and it was reduced to ruins. It looks like he went to Belfort after that. It sounds like he was angry at the Northern Forces for what they did to this place. He writes some really nasty things. The terrible things that the Northern Forces did here are called the Rheinpult Disaster. It's a fairly famous story. Belfort, huh? I suppose if we go there, someone might know where he is. You're right! Let's go to Belfort right away! Wait just a minute. We can't do that. We're right in the middle of a mission. Oh, But there might be some clues about my papa there! Rue is right. For now, let's go back. Alright, so... That is going to be a quest that we're not going to be able to work on for a very, very long time. We literally have about 30 side quests before we're able to get to that one, so... Sit tight, we are going to learn a little bit about Celestine's father and get a little bit more backstory, but not at the moment. Now, this is a little bit of a hermit's area. I think it's actually called the Cave of the Hermit. But the hermit's not here. There is going to be a quest there as well, but not right now. I was just checking to make sure there was no chests or anything, but it seems pretty barren. And I don't think that there's anything in my cube mail talking about that Rheinpolt disaster that Argo was talking about. It would have been kind of interesting to read about, but unfortunately, uh, there's nothing mentioned about it. So anyways, that pretty much means that we're done at the runes for now. We're going to make our way back towards the camp, and we also need to make a pit stop at Lenora Lake to go and take care of that swamp eel that the Traveler had told us about. I think what I'll do first though is I will go back to the camp, because I'd like to save at the pillar. It's been a little while since I've saved. And I should also take the opportunity at some point to do all of my commons, redo my common boards, make sure that I'm properly equipped, do all of my skill points and whatnot, because I tend to forget about those things and they're really important to keep the upkeep on. But unfortunately, I do forget, so... I do need to kind of take a little break and do that. And Rouge just broken level 40. Hallelujah, we're getting higher and higher in level. We've come pretty far. I can't believe we're level 40 already and we're on disc 2. Seems like time has just flown by. Alright, so let's make a pit stop at the rest stop. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything here. Although at this point, I don't think I should be. I just need to turn in a quest. Just need to go ahead and speak to the boss's son. After defeating Albedo. And we get some pretty sweet prizes. We get a new pauldron for Judo, as well as a Comet of Regeneration. So you have a lot of really great commons to choose from in this area, from all the rewards you've gotten from the side quests, and a lot of them are very, very useful. So if you're like me and you do procrastinate or you do forget to change over commons when you change weapons or to allocate all your skill points and whatnot, this is a really great opportunity to do so, especially if you do have a lot of commons to choose from. So in the next video, I think what we'll do is we'll go to Lenora Lake and we'll finish up our side questing in this area for the time being. I'm going to take a short break and I will be seeing you guys next time. Thank you for watching.